Yo, what's going on guys? Jim Jam here and today I'm going to bring you a story about my ACL reconstruction. So, let me get straight into it. I was playing football one day, well, yeah, that was a couple of years ago. I was playing football and I was in the match and I was on the ball, went to go kick the ball, caught my foot in the ground. Twisted my knee. Luckily, I didn't feel no pop, no nothing, so I don't know what it felt like to pop your ACL. I've seen people in pain and scream. To this day, I don't know what it feels like, which I'm kind of glad about that. But yeah, twisted my knee, okay, couldn't move, knees a bit sore and stuff, what? Got a twisted knee. Went to the physio, couldn't, didn't really find anything out here and there, couldn't really see much. And then, so, did a bit of training just to get my knee, my knee to get swelled down, do a bit of training to get my legs stronger again, then went back to training. So, this was a new team now, I went to a new team. And then I was training. Before that, I was playing football. I was training. I was training. I put a bandage on my knee. Went to a new team. Was training with them. And I was playing on Sunday as well. I was playing Sunday league as well. Playing on Sunday league. And then I was playing with the bandage on my knee. Was doing fine, running, scoring goals, doing this and that. So I knew all right. And then moved to a new team. The Saturday team that I was playing with. Training. Was doing training. I didn't play them matches yet because on my knee. Well, it's not Sunday league. Sunday league is a bit easier, but. Playing, training, this and that, knee was looking good, looking fine or whatever. And then I decided to take my bandage off. So let's take my bandage off. Went training one day, training for this and that. Boom, I need buckled underneath me again. I said, yeah, something's got to be wrong. Literally, something had to be wrong. For it to happen again, I thought, okay, cool. Decided to book him for MRI for the NHS. So I had to be couple weeks ago, a couple weeks, maybe like two months to wait for my MRI. So in between that time I was doing prehab, so pre some some work on my knee just to again get it stronger and whatever. Then the operation the not operation, the MRI comes in, I have my MRI, wait a couple of weeks again to get the results, comes in, they tell me they can't see much. They couldn't see much on my MRI to tell if I've done anything. The results are not decisive enough. So they couldn't tell. So what they said is we're booking for an operation and then we'll see what it is from there. So once you go into knee, they can see what I've done, if it's bad or if it's not. So I was like, of course, I did that again on the waiting list now in the NHS. Had to wait a couple months. I got an early call because they had found a spot for me. Someone I think had dropped out, so they found a spot for me. But in between that time, again, I was doing prehab on the bike, just leg work in the gym, just trying to get my knees strong, just in case I do have uh, ACL reconstruction and then what had happened I went for the operation on the day they, have, they told me it's either you're having ACL reconstruction which will be at least six months for recovery to a year maybe a bit longer or I'm having keyhole surgery which is two weeks out I'm like, that's a big difference so I'm like come on keyhole surgery please Key, I was excited like come on they said it could be keyhole surgery it looks like could be keyhole surgery so I'm like oh my gosh I'm excited yes keyhole surgery two weeks out and I'm back in nuts so I'm like alright cool so we go into the theatre room and like the theatre room is weird they sit you're lying down waiting they put, they put something in your mouth to bite they start asking you questions like, how would you what's your name blah 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 and in mean, that time I'm like yeah Jamel uh, blah, and then I'm gone I blacked out I have no clue what happened and then you wake up and the operation's done um, yeah, so after the operation was done, they told me I had ACL reconstruction. So they went to my knee, my ACL was completely torn. I, rut, I cut my meniscus, like the part that's back of your knee. So I cut that and I tore my ACL, so I had ACL reconstruction. So with that, they grafted my hamstring, and my hamstring is now my new ligament, or some of it is my new ligament now. So that was my, my ACL reconstruction. And then literally from the, that day, I had rehab, literally from that day I had rehab. I was doing exercises on the beds with a towel in the hospital, just getting my legs stronger and slowly getting stronger, literally. Day one after operation, just rehab, working from day one to get my legs better. And then, yeah, so I started the rehab. I was with Mike Banks, and shout out to Mike Banks, because he got me super, he got me back to where I knew. So Mike Banks was the head physio at Chelsea with Jose Mourinho, so I had to work with someone good, so I worked with him and that yeah, he helped me a lot. And again, what I'll do as well, if anyone's got any ACL injuries or having ACL reconstruction or anything, I'll put my 
some of my program or different stages of my new program in the pictures now so you can see some of them just in case you want to go through and do some stuff as well yourself so again I thought it's key to have a good rehab because if you don't get a good rehab your literally knee can be messed up for good so that is really key to have a good rehab find someone good go, go private find someone good and just do your rehab properly as well if you play sports as well if you, if you, if you don't mind with the NHS as long as you're walking you're good if you want to play sports again you have to go outside and do your own rehab get a good physio so if you don't mind if you don't mind walking like, okay cool it's fine but if you're serious about going back into sport or doing something at the gym go out go private and get your own physio it's the best way forward but so I did, yeah, I did some stuff with him I might put some videos in the picture as well so you can see did some stuff with him and then just kept training six months to a year gym work pool work just going by myself going to see him doing a lot of work all the time just getting my knees stronger getting my flexibility stronger because I couldn't even bend my leg back literally even five, five centimeters to my leg couldn't bend back. I had no muscle in my leg that the smallest amount of muscle after the operation. So um, it was a hard road, literally hard. It's mentally tough as well for not being able to play football for a year. I've been playing football for years since I was a little kid. So it was tough. So I had to push myself through it and do it all the time. And I got through, got through it, got back after a year or so. It took me time to get back into football, playing, probably get back to normal myself just because my knees not used to it. But then I got back to it, doing everything, and like I said, since then I've done stuff with Nike, I won competitions with Umbro, Come, came top three in the Nike competition in the UK, should have won it, but things happen. And then I've done a bunch of other stuff as well. I feel quicker than I was before, so that like, it's just putting hard work in. Like, this is my little story, one one thing that I've done of many. Like I said, I've broken my foot, broken this skate my foot before, but I might take that another story. But yeah, this one is just about guys, literally, no matter what setback you have, whatever you go through, you can always come back on the other side and come back stronger. Come back bigger, better and stronger. Push yourself, no matter what you go through. No matter how hard it is, it's gonna be hard, hard long road, but on the other side, there is the light, as they say. So just keep pushing yourself, keep working hard, keep pushing through, and you'll get there. Don't stop, don't let no one get in your way, don't let nothing rate, any setbacks, any injuries, any anything in life. Just push yourself and you'll be fine. Like I said, that was my little story on my ACL, just to help you people through anyone that's been any injuries, any ACL reconstructions, anything like that. If you've got any injuries that you've had before, any, or any setbacks, put them in the comments down below. We can discuss that and sort that out. And like I said, some more videos will come in here. I'll probably bring one about my broken foot as well. So like I said, if you like, subscribe, we'll bring more videos in. We'll keep this going and we'll get far. That's it guys, I'll catch you in a bit. Peace. As you can, that's it.